A Morro Bay resident is under investigation for allegedly harassing city council members over the last several months. KSBY News reporter Dustin Kleeman joins us live from Morro Bay with more on this situation. Dustin, what can you tell us? Well, good evening, Karina. That resident who we chose not to identify tonight could face charges if the district attorney's office decides to move forward on the case. Uh, the messages that included sexual and explicit content has the city council speaking out against the behavior. This isn't something that we believe is okay. It's concerning to me when people feel like free speech um, in every case should trump humane treatment of one another. I think that we can have both, and I think we can have both in the civil discourse. Morro Bay Council member Don Addis was the target of one Morro Bay resident's ire. Messages about policy stance immediately included sexual, aggressive, and at times threatening language. I learned later that this person has been posting about me for months, including saying she appears to be an attractive woman. Maybe she can get a job as a pole dancer and she is nothing but a taco. According to police, she wasn't the only target. The residents sent messages to other council members over the past several months. They are, um, in my opinion, not only vulgar and full of hate and vehemence, but they misrepresent everything that this community is all about. And personally, I have zero tolerance for that kind of behavior. The behavior has law enforcement involved now. We do think that these communications are really over the top. We don't approve of that and we, we take it very serious. Morro Bay Police has investigated this thoroughly and they put it forward to the district attorney's office and we have yet to figure out what they will do with that. It's still very much in the early stages. We'll be paying attention to it. Live and local in Morro Bay, I'm Dustin Kleeman, KSBY News. All right, Dustin, thank you. We did reach out to the person who sent the emails, but we have not yet heard back.